Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another Character Evolution video for today. This one is going to be a very, very fun video. I was very excited to do this one. This one is going to be doing the evolution of the Trailer Park Boys' best villain of all time, and that is for the evolution of Mr. Leahy from Trailer Park Boys. Okay guys, just gonna be doing another video for today. This one's gonna be doing another video for today. This one is going to be doing another character evolution video and in this one, we are gonna be discussing one of my favorite TV characters of all time. This one is for the one and only, the legendary villain of TV, of Canadian TV. And that is going to be for Mr. Leahy from Trailer Park Boys. So, uh, this one was suggested by a good few of my Canadian buddies. I wanted to go ahead and do this uh, This one. Uh, in particular, the biggest ones that wanted me to do this is uh, Mega Matt 1254 and uh, they wanted me to go ahead and do this one because uh, we are talking about a hilarious TV show. We are talking about an, a phenomenal TV show, um, and we are talking about one of the best characters of TV of all time. So I'm like, how the hell can I turn that down, right? It's a, it's an amazing show. He is an amazing character, and I also want to talk about just the story of this character overall. So uh, this is a comedy series, which is very different from the evolutions, but I like it. I think it's a really cool suggestion, and I wanted to roll with it. Um, and I will say this, and I guess this is the best way to start off this evolution. If you have not seen the show Trailer Park Boys, if you have not watched this show, do yourself a favor and enjoy it. There are 12 seasons on Netflix. It is a just hilarious show. My opinion, the best comedy show ever made. And it is, uh, yeah, it's phenomenal. It's made in Canada as well, so I'm sure a lot of you American viewers probably may not even know what it actually is. Uh, I know a lot of people I speak to, it's like, oh, Trailer Park Boys, what, what the hell is that? Well, go on Netflix, watch it. Believe me, you'll thank me later. You absolutely will. So, um, and I will say too, like the first season, it's very small time. But once you get into some of the rest of the show, it gets so good, it's not even funny. So, um, okay. Leahy from Trailer Park Boys. So he is introduced in season one, uh, episode one, the pilot. Um, and he's actually not even a big concentration in that episode, uh, oddly. Uh, and he is uh, unfortunately still, well, he... He is in season 12, episode uh, 10. Uh, he is in that episode, but if you guys don't know, the actress for Leahy, uh, who was played by John Dunsworth, unfortunately passed away um, about a month or two, I believe, after the filming of season 12, episode 10. Um, which is really sad. So uh, if you don't know that, yeah, unfortunately the actor for Leahy did pass away. Uh, we will no longer be seeing the character after the 12th season. There have been rumors of a 13th season, but um, it really, uh, you know, it's it's a really, you know, sad situation because obviously he played such a, a great character and John Dunsworth is such a great actor, right? So um, in season one, he's the trailer park supervisor. Obviously Ricky and Julian get out of jail. So you kind of got this like, you know, storyline where, He's trying to throw Ricky in jail. He doesn't want them there. Julian wants to straight up leave the park in the first season, but Leahy says, Julian, you can leave, but not, but you can leave, but you're taking Ricky with you, you know? He doesn't want it. And they always raise hell in the trailer park. You've got Mr. Leahy. If you guys, you know, if you guys haven't watched the show, he is a major alcoholic. And we, I mean, he is probably one of the greatest characters of all, of all time just because of that statement right there. Um, you will not see a character, an alcoholic character like Mr. Leahy. You won't. You will not see one like him. It's not, it's, it's just not possible. Um, he essentially is, his role is to try to catch the boys because they keep doing illegal stuff, but he's so drunk sometimes that he can't even stop them, right? So he always keeps screwing up and he's always the ones that looks, looks like a fool in front of the cops because obviously uh, he's too drunk to do anything, right? So that's kind of the whole, uh, the the whole kind of concept behind it is that Ricky and Julian break the law with their friend Bubbles and stuff like that. And this guy's so drunk that he can't even like, he tries to arrest them and half the time it doesn't work because he's too drunk to do it. And that's kind of the, the whole thing. He always is coming after them. So, um, in season one, that's what, that, that's basically, uh, basically what goes on. Uh, Ricky tries to get married and unfortunately he goes to jail because Leahy and them finally catch him, uh, doing illegal stuff. And, uh, essentially that's the first season. So, um, in the second season, we've got Randy that, um, kind of decides to, uh, leave, uh, basically his, uh, assistant trailer park supervisor kind of leaves him. And then, you know, Leahy is kind of forced to, you know, of course, supervise the trailer park alone. So he of course starts drinking heavily. We get to see a lot of that. And, uh, of course, um, you know, 
know, when Sam Losco comes into the picture, who is somebody that has a lot of beef with Ricky, um, he wants to take over as the trailer park supervisor. And Leahy's been kind of slacking at his job. So Sam Losco has a chance to become the supervisor. And then, of course, you've got Leahy that uh, gives this amazing speech and basically... Well, let's put it this way. Ricky and Julian know that Sam Losco is worse than Leahy, so they drug him so Sam Losco looks like an idiot, and Leahy gets back in as trailer park supervisor, Randy gets back to work, and they take over the park again. So you've got that, and then essentially you've got uh, Ricky and them that, of course, continue to do illegal stuff. They arrest them at the end of the season, and you've got... Um, Leahy that of course uh, as the seasons go on I mean that's that's his role like season three same thing um of course we get introduced to the Erica character uh there's the storyline with them stealing barbecues and you know we get a lot of you know cool episodes like that but for the most part he's too drunk to do anything and it actually gets to a point where at the end of season three uh he gets so involved trying to take the boys down that he actually looks like a criminal and uh, Leahy and Randy get arrested. And in the fourth season, um, the job for trailer park supervisor gets, you know, kind of opened. So Ricky basically takes over as the trailer park supervisor. And Leahy doesn't really like that too much. So uh, as Leahy tries to fight to get his job back, essentially, you've got... Of course, uh, the rest of the season that plays through, you got the, uh, the international trailer park supervisor guys that, of course, come, and basically Leahy is reinstated now, and you've got uh, Ricky that's out of the job once again. Um, and Leahy loses his mind, and by the end of the season, he tries to kill Leigh, uh, tries to kill Ricky, um, and uh, basically, I mean, goes after him. He's so drunk that he's going around in a dress, and he's trying to kill Ricky. It's, it's, it's. I'm telling you guys, it's the funniest show you'll ever see. Um, and basically, you've got season five as Ricky and Julian and Bubbles get out of jail. Uh, you've got uh, the hash driveway storyline as Leahy basically tries to pull a fast one this season. And in season five, this is my favorite season, by the way. If you guys don't know, this season is so good. Leahy pretends that he is off the liquor he pretends like i'm not drinking anymore he goes around with this bottle of water the entire season and it's just like oh man like yeah he's he's a changed man like yeah he's nice to them like look at that right that's that's great um and then about midway through the season ray completely exposes him and, and basically rats him out to the rest of the boys and says like this bottle of water he's not even a nice guy he's he's walking around with a bottle of vodka it just makes it seem like water so then you kind of get the twist of like oh he really has been drinking the whole time and <laughs> you continue the season and you've got uh, basically this group of guys, uh, of course, Cyrus, that go after the boys, uh, of course, because they steal their, their drugs and this and that. And of course, you've got uh, Leahy kind of in the mix trying to arrest everybody, essentially. And uh, he does just that. But Ricky um, almost has a near-death experience as you've got a big shootout that happens in the trailer park. And you've got uh, Leahy that actually saves Ricky's life from a heart, atta a heart attack. Um, and he is kind of looked at as a hero by the end of the season. So it's kind of uh, kind of an interesting storyline there. Um, and then in season six, you've got Leahy that for real this time actually decides, I'm going to lay off the liquor. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lay off of it. And he actually legitimately does it. But this time it's the opposite of season five. He makes it seem like he's going around drunk out of his mind. But when really he's collecting evidence for the cops of the boys and the boys think, oh, he's just a drunk idiot. Like it doesn't matter. But really he's actually undercover. And it's kind of a reveal throughout the season that Leahy has actually been off the liquor for a while. He's just been trying to get evidence on the boys, um, but acting drunk. So they think he's too, too stupid to catch them. But really, he's sober and he can catch them pretty easily here. And he's collecting all this evidence. And it's such a unique twist. Um... I think it's a really, really fun twist for sure. So we see that in season seven, he's reinstated. Uh, basically, we find out that Leahy was actually a cop before and he is now reinstated back on the force. And that's why he's so eager to catch the boys is because he used to be a cop. So now, now that he's a cop, he kind of... Um, obviously now has kind of no choice but to have a basically like kind of make peace with Ricky and the boys and you know essentially as the seasons continue he decides uh to get back on the liquor because Randy of course joins this cheeseburger like uh thing with Phil Collins so he kind of gets all jealous and starts drinking again and basically arrests the boys one last time before the show ends now that's the showcase era okay now, the Netflix era, uh, this is what basically goes down. We have, you know, obviously Sam Losco, who marries uh, Barb, who's Leahy's ex-wife. So they are now in charge of the trailer park. Um, and they get a divorce, so now the trailer park is half in both of their names. So you've got Leahy that uh, basically kind of has the 1% of the park. And, you know, he is one that can kind of make a decision. So basically Sam Losco and Cyrus team up and try to basically, you know, kind of uh, convince Leahy that uh, Sam and Cyrus are going to be able to, you know, take over the park. Um, 
and they kind of scare the crap out of Leahy. So um, you've got that. You've got the storyline in season nine where they try to kick Ricky out of the park because, you know, they want to turn it into a nicer place. Uh, in season 10, you've got Julian that takes over the park and kicks Leahy out. Um, and then in season 11, you actually get Leahy that's sober and you find out that uh, he at least thinks that he's Ricky's father. And you basically go into that storyline in season 11. Um, you know, he basically tells him like, Ricky, I'm your father and I have been the entire time and Ray's not your real father and this and that. And it's just such a, such a weird plot. And then in season 12, you kind of get a return back to normal. Like he's drunk again. You get just the greatness. They hire George to be the assistant, assistant trailer park supervisor. Um, and you've got, uh, basically the boys and Leahy that make peace. And, and that's what I love so much about the last season. And th this is the thing in season 12, it really feels like an ending because you know, you've got the scene where joins like, look, we're getting too old for this. Like, we're all getting too old for this. It, it's it's enough. And you basically get a happy ending with Leahy, Randy, and the three boys. And it's it's a really, really great kind of ending to the series. Um, but unofficially, because they never said that was the last season. So um, that's my thoughts on the, the Mr. Leahy character. I think he is a hilarious character. Um, I don't even think there's any kind of TV villain that's like him. He's such an original concept. And honestly, do yourself a favor. If you have not seen this show just watch it. Watch it. Like I said, you'll thank me later. It's a phenomenal show. And that is all I got to say about uh, the Jim Leahy character. So rest in peace to John Dunsworth. Phenomenal actor. Um, and cannot wait to see uh, what this franchise has next. Because honestly, we don't know. Is there going to be a season 13? Will there? Will there not be? Who knows? But at least as it stands right now, I think it is a really, really great show. And uh, yeah, guys, that is uh, that is it for the uh, Mr. Leahy evolution. All, all y'all Canadians that wanted it, you got it. So um, any other, you know, character evolutions for Trailer Park, definitely, if you want to see any more, we only got a few weeks left evolution. So suggest them now and uh, definitely I'll go ahead and do them. So anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching the video. Write your comments in the comment section below. And of course, guys, if you're new here, click the subscribe button. You know, don't miss my videos for uh, Trailer Park Boys. Fall dance, walk new videos come, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys way really soon. Maybe uh, for another video for Trailer Park Boys, if you guys want one. So enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out.